The Will Smith film, I Am Legend, is about a very grim future where among many signs of the apocalypse was the notion that gas costs $6.63 a gallon, as you see there. Well, as one clever Twitter user noted, our current reality is even grimmer than that. Gas now six bucks and 71 cents in some spots. Welcome back to Inside the Issues. I'm Alex Cohen. That is really painful for plenty of Californians, but especially for those who drive for a living. And joining me now with more on that front is veteran Uber and Lyft driver Sergio Avedian, who is also with the website, The Rideshare Guy. Sergio, it is great to have you back with us. It's been way too long. Yes, thank you so much, Alex. Thank you for having me again. I definitely want to talk about high gas prices, but since it's been a while since we've had you on this show, can you kind of bring me up to speed uh, even before these high gas prices with the pandemic, everything else that's been going on? How tough has it been for rideshare drivers of late? It's been pretty tough, but, you know, uh, they're a tough bunch. They survive. So when the pandemic hit, as we all know, rideshare completely went away. Uh, Uber and Lyft rides went to basically zero. Um, but the most important thing is it gave basically a chance for all the drivers to reset, push the reset button and figure out what could they do to uh, survive. So what did they do? Well, they switched to delivery. They switched to Instacart for delivering groceries or they switched to Uber Eats for delivering food. So it hasn't been all horrible during the pandemic, but now that uh, it seems like we're coming out of it. Um, the ride share has come back in full force and the demand was totally out there, but then there was a shortage of drivers. And it, now with these high, high gas prices, I think we're experiencing a shortage of drivers again. Yeah, and so talk to me about that, because even if you're pivoting to other things like Instacart, right, all of that requires gas. With these higher prices, how does that affect your bottom line? You tell me what it's like to be a driver at this particular moment. Well, I mean, it affects it tremendously, obviously. You know, the, the, besides the gas prices, there is a trickle-down effect um, on everything else we purchase. Now, the tools, the, the only tool we use for doing ride share is our car, right? So the car doesn't only you know, uh, function on gas. We have to buy spare parts. We have to get to keep the car maintained. We have to buy tires. We have to uh, get brakes frequently. So uh, a full-time Uber driver or a Lyft driver will uh, basically drive about five to 6,000 miles a month. So oil changes are very frequent. And if you look at the pricing of, of all these expenses, as we all know, we're independent contractors, according to Uber and Lyft, which is a total misclassification. Maybe that's for another program. Yeah, we'll have to save but, that one. Yeah, we'll save that one. That's a long story. So the, the, the thing is, everything I have bought in 2019 for my car has doubled. Basically, like a set of four tires used to cost me $500. Now it's $900. An oil change used to be maybe $40. Now it's $80. So uh, the trickle down effect on on you know, gas prices has affected everything else that we're doing and spending on our expenses as far as running our cars properly. Yeah. I understand that the rideshare companies recently announced a 55 cent surcharge on rides. I'm curious, what has the driver community said in response to that? Well, well you can tell us my smile. I mean, look, uh, first of all, it's a reactionary move, right? So a lot of people are saying it's better than nothing. Well, I agree with that. It's better than nothing. However, 55 cents per ride is not going to be enough uh, for the for this latest spike that we had. As you know, before the program started, as you correctly stated, I mean, I just bought gas at six dollars and forty five cents a gallon. So um, it's gone up another forty cents in the last, I think, like week and a half or so. So fifty five cents per ride is fine. You know, it's something but it's not going to cut it especially if you're doing long rides like assume you do a 20 mile ride that's going to take you in la traffic probably an hour yeah. well what does that 55 cent do it doesn't do anything i just spent a gallon of gas doing that ride at six dollars and sixty cents you know it brought my cost down to 610 so it is something you know it's a reactionary move i think the you know i think the biggest problem that we could discuss here would be you know when i was on with you in 2019 um, I complained about base rates that the drivers get paid. A lot of your viewers may or may not know, but Uber drivers get paid by miles and minutes. Yeah. So 
in 2019, we got paid 60 cents a mile, believe it or not, with, and 21 cents a minute. Um, fast forward to 2022, where everything else due to inflation in the country is 100% higher. Um, we still get paid 60 cents a mile and 21 cents a minute. So when they call us independent contractors, uh, we have no pricing power because we don't decide what to charge our passengers. Like if I was an electrician, I would charge, I would pass all the costs on to the, to the customer. We're not able to do that. So we're still getting paid the same amount of money, but everything we buy to run our cars is at least 50 to 80 to 100 percent higher. I got to say, Sergio, it sounds like the party's over for rideshare drivers in a lot of ways. And, and you all uh, at the Rideshare Guy recently did a poll which seems to back that up. Uh, 15 percent have already quit driving. Uh, 40 percent are driving less. I'm curious, in addition to the 55 cents uh, surcharge, Right now, Democrats here in California are talking about giving taxpayers a $400 rebate. The Republicans are talking about trying to put a pause on the statewide gas tax. What are your thoughts on these plans? Is there anything out there that looks like relief to you? You know, first of all, we're all hoping that the, these spikes are transitory due to global, you know, political events. Um, I doubt it uh, because my experiences over the last five years has been whatever goes up, comes down a little bit, and then you get used to that, right? Yeah. So with the summer season coming around, which is high demand for gasoline anyway, during the summer, gas prices usually go up. So that's around the corner. So I don't think we're going to get too much of a break when it comes to gas prices. But I think any help that can come from Sacramento would be appreciated, obviously. But $400, um, you know, a, a rebate or a gas you know, credit is not going to go too far. I mean, like I said, a, a full-time Uber or Lyft driver is buying gasoline every single day. Yeah. And it used to cost them maybe, if they had a 10-gallon tank, it used to cost them $35. Now it's costing them $65. You multiply that times seven or you multiply that times 30, you see what we're ha what's happening here. So the survey is pretty accurate. Uh, although there was a surprise in that survey for me, which was 11% um, said they're driving more. Now, yeah. there is a point to that. The reason for that is there's a shortage of drivers out there again, and the prices are surging, and they may be making the difference in high gas costs or, you know, or any other costs by doing more rides with higher fares. So it may be the 11% is right, you know, because uh, to be honest with you, I went out and drove this weekend just to see what the effect of the gas prices were going to be. Uh, I averaged, I mean, it's on my screenshots. I'm about to finish an article with it. I averaged close to $50 an hour. The reason for that, there's a shortage of drivers. There, the demand is still there and the prices are, you know, for the passenger are, are going through the roof. and. I'm taking advantage of whatever surges out there. Never a dull moment for a rideshare driver. May not be good news for the drivers, but always great content to talk about at the Rideshare Guy, which is where you'll find work by our guest, Sergio Avedian. Thank you so much for making the time and best of luck. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate it.